Check this little guy out. This is a two-line salamander. He's such a cute little salamander, if a salamander can be cute. I think he is. If you notice, part of his tail is missing. Salamanders, a lot of times, will lose their tail from a predator trying to get them, and they can regenerate it. It'll grow back. How cool is that? Now, this one is a two-line salamander, not to be confused with the three-line salamander. The difference is one line. <laughs> But this guy lives in the leafy litter uh, next to streams under rocks. They are really cool salamander. They're going to get to be about, about that big, sometimes a little bit bigger, but they stay relatively slender. They're a lungless salamander. And like I said before, they get all of their oxygen through their skin. And same thing with all their moisture through their skin. That's why they're an amphibian. They have to live near water. Now, a cool thing about these guys is they're environmental indicators. As with all amphibians, so if you're finding a lot of salamanders in a habitat like we have been, you know that it's a pristine habitat, it's a good habitat, and it's healthy. If you stop finding them, um, if you stop finding them in a habitat, you know that the habitat is obstructed, it's polluted, and these animals can't survive in that habitat. They're kind of like what people would call a biological indicator, like a canary in the gold mine, so to speak. So if there's a good amount of amphibians in a habitat, it's a healthy habitat, and that's something we need to remember as you go out looking for animals.